My name is Gentry Williams, Elder, First Presbyterian Church, Pascagoula, and uh, the devotional I'm going to bring to you today is reading the Bible. Uh, the Bible has been, uh, the reliability of the Bible has been questioned since the, the age of time. Um, what chapters should go in, what chapters shouldn't go in, um, who wrote things, uh, and it's kind of separated the church or uh, driven wedges into the church. And so you know, I want to discuss some of that today uh, to you about what is the Bible and what are we supposed to be doing with it? Well, from personal experiences, I've probably tried to read the Bible 147 times. Uh, you get to a point where you make a time to read the Bible and then you just, you don't follow through or you start reading it and you get you know through Genesis and Exodus and you kind of just say, okay, I'm gonna come back and read it, and you, you forget, or you just move on, or you get intimidated by it. Well, I was successful in reading the Bible uh, two years ago when we instituted the Bible in a Year plan. And currently, I'm uh, on track to finish it this year. And I can tell you that um, Getting through the Bible and having read it once is just a very, very rewarding experience. And it's neat when you hear all the stories, uh, you read all the stories, you can follow kind of what happens uh, throughout the ages, how we got to one place to another. And then reading the Bible again, uh, I was amazed at how much information I picked up that I either forgot about or didn't recall um, from the first time that I read the Bible. So, you know, it, it brings a lot of joy as well because now when you sit through Sunday school or uh, through the sermon of Matt and Jason and you've read the Bible, you generally know what happened before the uh, sermon topic and you know what happened after the sermon uh, topic. So, topic, excuse me. So, what I want to do is let's, let's understand um, what the Bible is. Obviously, we all know it's the Word of God. You know, the Bible is the Word of God. Um, Jesus said that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God's mouth. And that's Matthew 4, 4. And Paul says in 2 Timothy 3, 16, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. So, given by the inspiration of God. So now I think you know, we ought to define what that means, inspiration of God. Inspiration means that God breathed the word. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, he dictated to whoever wrote chapters. It means he gave them the inspiration. He breathed the word to them for them to write uh, whatever um, gospel that they were writing. So basically, if you go back through the Old Testament, you know, be it Moses, um, Joshua, Samuel, um, uh, Solomon, uh, David, the prophets, and then the New Testament, you know, prophets, Jesus, uh, the apostles, God breathed the word to them as they wrote down on the uh, manuscripts. And another thing you need to understand when um, reading the Bible is uh, we believe as Christians that the Bible is inerrant, which means without error. There is no error in the Bible. And we also believe that and know that God does not contradict his teachings through any gospel in the Bible. So it's without error. The Bible shouldn't be taken literally. The Bible should be taken in its plain historical sense. It should be taken as the divine word of God. You know, anytime you're reading a verse, uh, reading a chapter uh, or whatever, that is the word of God. 
if you look at it, you know, we all know it, but sometimes when you're reading it, you don't look at it in that sense. But if you look at it as it's the Word of God, I know it gives me uh, more uh, enjoyment to read the Bible, and hopefully it does that to you for well, as well. So some ideas for reading the Bible is you know, read the Bible aloud. When you're in your quiet time uh, during the day or your whatever uh, devotional time that you have set aside, just read the Bible out loud. I think it will help you not have your mind wander as much like it usually does when I'm reading things uh, or reading the Bible. You'll stay engaged. And another thing is um, be patient when you're reading the Bible. You know, the Bible's complicated. It's, it's, some of it's hard to understand and some of it's hard to get through, but just be patient and reread areas if you need to, uh, but that should help you get through um, whatever chapter you're struggling with. And another thing is, is try emphasizing different words when you're reading through the Bible. You know, like, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, stuff like that. But as you're going through the Bible and you're, you're reading the Bible, um, you know, it's like you've heard Matt say and you've heard Jason say, I mean, highlight areas, you know, mark your Bible up. Things that are important to you, to you or verses that you really, really like, you know, write them down. You know, keep a, a, a notebook and write down verses that you want to uh, have instant recall on. That should help you um, go through the Bible. Well, that's, uh, that's my uh, devotion on reading the Bible. If you will, let's pray, please. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for helping me understand that the Bible, the Holy Book, is your word. And Lord, just give me the patience I need to get through uh, this Bible again for the second time. And please help those others that may be struggling. I just want to thank you again, Lord, for your son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray all this in his name. Amen.